Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Welcome back to our Sunday video. And today we're gonna to invite you into a process that we do basically every week. Yeah. Because Sundays are the day that we do our meal prep and our meal planning. Um, we kind of get three things ready for the week on Sundays. We get all of our breakfast done, mm -hmm. all of our lunches done, and all of our snacks done. And so today yeah. we're gonna show you how we do it all. I usually work from an office downtown, so I it's easier for me if I have a breakfast and a lunch that I can just bring to work with me and then eat there than to order lunch or try to remember to go out and get lunch, that doesn't happen. So we have our menu right over here. These are the things we're going to be making today also. There's Missy right there. Um, we are going to be making a breakfast frittata. For lunch, we're gonna have two different options that we can have throughout the week. We're doing a Parmesan chicken and then um, burgers with garlic butter mushrooms. We've never done this before and I'm really excited. And then for snacks, we are gonna do some like reindeer sausage cut up with some cheese and then we're gonna make our own ranch dressing. Now we are still doing low carb, still doing keto, but all of this kind of stuff, uh, you don't have to be keto, you don't have to be low carb to eat this stuff. This stuff is so freaking good. So uh, let's get started. All right, Sherry Beth, hmm. one of the things that you do the best is you help me know what order we should do those in. Yeah. So what are we gonna do first? I think we start with the chicken because it's gonna take the longest. We'll get that going and then while that's cooking, I think we should start on the frittata. Okay, and just so you guys know kind of where we're gonna do these, the Parmesan chicken is gonna be done in the air fryer. The burgers are gonna be done in the broiler. The garlic butter mushrooms are going to be done on the stovetop. And the frittata is gonna be done, it's gonna be started on the stovetop, finished in the oven. Yep. So we're basically using the entire kitchen for this today. And these are already made, well, no, we're gonna make the ranch dressing. Yep. Um, this is made, we're just gonna cut it up and put it into baggies so that I can just grab it. The Parmesan chicken that we are going to be making, we've actually never had before. I found this at a place in town called Butcher Block Number no. 9. They're Italian Parmesan boneless thighs, and they are already like marinated, already seasoned. So we're just gonna open this up and put them here in our air fryer. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these chicken thighs and put them in there. And there are, I think, four chicken thighs, yep, in this bag. So the plan is that this will be two lunches for Sherry, two thighs per lunch. So we're actually just gonna cook these um, probably at 370 for, I think it's gonna go 15 minutes, so we'll just start with that. And I'm actually gonna serve that Parmesan chicken um, over top of some of the spaghetti squash veggie spirals. We've never bought this before, just like steamed bag. So we'll put down some spaghetti squash, we'll put the chicken on top, We'll actually even put some pepperoni and some mozzarella on top of the chicken. So I think this is gonna be a pretty great lunch when it's done. Sure, Beth, you excited for this one? Yes, it sounds good. I just preheated the oven to 350 degrees because next we are going to do the frittata. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I really love about frittatas is that it gives you an opportunity to like use up what you have in your fridge. You could do whatever you want. Um, now for this frittata, we're actually gonna keep it pretty simple. It is going to be ham, onions and cheese because well that combination is sherry approved but also because we have this gigantic ham that a friend of ours gave us and we're wanting to use as much of it as possible so we're going to cut a bunch of it up we're going to use it for like charcuterie trays but then we're also going to freeze a bunch of this and of course use some in the frittata so let's get this open get it cut up now one thing to be aware of when getting something like a ham if you are doing a low carb kind of diet is that a lot of times like hams especially can have um i don't know like some kind of a glaze on them that is super super high in sugar so this is a smoked ham but there's no glaze which is exactly what we want and i look over here and sherry is uh just like picking off pieces of the ham and just eating them i will let you know this ham also fully cooked thank goodness <laughs> so we have some plastic baggies here that we are going to put the ham in uh you can see it's also a spiral cut which is really really nice so now we're just going to kind of cut this apart so we have one big package of ham going in the freezer and you can see we still have a ton of ham to cut up all right so here's what we ended up with uh two bags in the freezer this bag is going to be for like different snacking and charcuterie and then we have this that i'm going to cut up in the frittata air fryer is going off let's open this up oh my goodness you guys Look at those chicken thighs. Got the thermometer in there, just checking the temperature, making sure the chicken is done, and look at it, keep going, keep going. Sherry is putting those um, spaghetti squash noodles in the microwave to steam. 
Well, the spaghetti squash warms up. We have about four minutes of that left. We're gonna get started on the frittata. Sherry's going to crack 10 eggs there in that bowl. You can see I've got the ham diced up ready that will go in there. In fact, I'm gonna move this frittata ham over to that cast iron pan. And Sherry decided she did not want onions in her frittata, so she was just doing ham and cheese this week. And actually, using the cast iron pan reminds me of something. Uh, this, like, pan holder, you can see it's all burnt around the end. Sherry got me a new one for Christmas. So, look at how much better <laughs> that is. Thanks, Sherry. Microwave's going off, that means the noodles are done. Take these bad boys out. Sherry's sure starting to assemble the Parmesan chicken, putting some of the spaghetti squash. Now, we love spaghetti squash. I don't know how the... I've never done it frozen. No. And there's also not a lot in here. We actually weren't even going to do a side with this. Right. Um, but we had that bag in the freezer and we thought, well, let's use it. Okay, so on the bed of the spaghetti squash, we're gonna put two of the chicken thighs. I will say they certainly smell good. Mm -hmm. Next, we're actually gonna put a little bit of this Rayo's uh, sauce, just cause while the chicken was marinated um, in that like Italian sauce. Kinda dried out a little bit. Looks a little bit dry, so we're just gonna add a little bit of sauce to the top of that. And Sherry, mm -hmm. I just had an idea. Okay. We roasted some garlic, and so we have these roasted garlic cloves. Do you wanna add some of that there? That is not a terrible idea, sir. Thank you. This is why we love having roasted garlic on hand. Mm -hmm. Is that you can just like, toss this in to meals. So happy. We get people who message us all the time when we make this on like Instagram, and they're like, what do you do with roasted garlic? And I'm always just like, whatever you want. You eat it. You eat it. Like you just pop it like candy. It's so good. Put it in anything and on anything. It is so delicious. Now Sherry's gonna add some pepperoni to the top of the chicken. One of our favorite recipes is just called pepperoni chicken and it's Usually you just use like a plain chicken breast. You put pepperoni down, you put sauce, you put chicken breast, you put more pepperoni, more sauce, and cheese, and you bake it in the oven. Um, this is very similar. This is very similar just because that's kind of what the chicken already was. And so we're just adding the pepperoni and a little more cheese. That is looking pretty good. And now it is looking even better. Sherry, that's gonna be a really nice lunch. Yeah. Lids on and the first two lunches are finished. Now, back over here to the frittata. Uh, the ham, already cooked, but I've got it here in the pan. And we're just gonna, did that turn on? Yes. We have fire. <laughs> Put that over like medium high. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees, which is what I want. I'm just going to stir this around. So our ham looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs in. Just like so. And then for the frittata, I know we've talked about this before. Um, you're not gonna fully cook it here in the cast iron. You just wanna help the eggs get like start to cook. Sherry Beth, is this what you were wanting for your frittata? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese in there and stir it in. And then I'm also gonna add some cheese to the top I like that plan. I Well, that's why I'm doing this, because you are a cheesy girl. <laughs> yeah. In more ways than one. Oh, no. And this is gonna go in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. It might actually be closer to 12 minutes, but we'll start with 10. Now, while the frittata is cooking, we're gonna work on our snack bags. So, for these, basically we just have little baggies of reindeer sausage cut up, a little, like, cup of ranch dressing, and then we might have a few pieces of cheese from, like, this cheese platter that we have in there as well. It's just the kind of thing that if we're hungry, but it's not really, like, a meal time, we can just kind of easily grab and snack on a little bit. And we normally have two of these, uh, so we're gonna have one that we fill with reindeer sausage that Sherry can take to work with her, and we're gonna have one that we can keep here in the fridge that we both can snack on. So a lot of you guys know we buy this from Costco, it's from Alaska Sausage. It is the uh, reindeer meat sausage. It is fully cooked, ready to go, and we love it. This is also really good uh, with like honey mustard. We love a dipping reindeer sausage. It's so good with like crackers, basically any kind of cheese, or just right off the board. Sherry Beth. It's so good. I know. All right, perfect. We have two bags here. Next thing is we're just gonna make the ranch dressing and we use the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning because this is so easy. And Sherry, what do you think about the ranch that it makes? So good. It is so good. And one of the things that I love is that you can control like the amount of like ranch flavoring. You can control how thick it is. Yep. So we tend to make ours thicker because we normally use this as like a dip rather than a dressing. Yep. So we love making this. Oven just went off. I can tell the frittata 
not done yet. Too jiggly in the middle, much like me. So we're gonna put it back in for, mm, let's do three more minutes. But we do have our ranch dressing over here all done and oh my gosh it's so good so now we're just gonna like transfer it to this mason jar because sweet tea and ranch dressing somehow both taste better out of a mason jar all right let's see three more minutes um man it's still just not quite right there so uh, let's go a couple more minutes. It's so close. And actually, now that I think about it, I do think that my frittatas are normally in there for 15 minutes. So I don't know why I put it in there for 10, but the ranch is done. Delicious. Now, the last meal that we're going to be working on are the burgers. And with burgers, it's just going to be like burger patties. We're going to do the broiler. But then with them, we're going to have um, these mushrooms and onions that we cook in a garlic butter sauce, like a garlic butter mushroom and onion. Yeah. That actually sounds really amazing. Yep. So Sherry is just quartering up these mushrooms, leaving them pretty big. Because if you cut mushrooms too small, they kind of wither down to nothing. Yeah, and I mean, these are still going to lose quite a bit of their size. And so I'm just going to keep them kind of vague. Makes sense. Yeah. Also, here we go. Going off. I feel good about this. I think this is going to be the one. It's going to be done. I just dropped that. I'm a moron. <laughs> um, no jiggle. Hey, look at that. So now we're just going to set that up here. And uh, once that cools a little bit, we'll put it in containers. And the pan that we're going to cook all of the mushrooms and onions in is right here. It's going to be this wok. So I'm going to go ahead and put that block of butter in there and get that cooking and melting down. Got some onions in there. Now I'm gonna add some cloves of roasted garlic in there as well. And Sherry's over here using the grate plate, grating some fresh garlic. So putting the onions in here, obviously before the mushrooms, because these are gonna take longer to cook up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. You can smell the garlic in here instantly. Like as soon as the garlic hits that butter, just instant, like amazing roasted garlic and onion smell. And in goes the grated garlic. You can see the onions looking really, really good. Sherry's now gonna add mushrooms in there. Oh my gosh. And I do have a feeling I'm probably gonna add a little bit more butter to this. Yep. Now I'm going to do the burgers, and these are just super simple. These are just the frozen uh, one third pound beef patties from Costco. So, have four of them out and we're just going to put them in the broiler probably oh gosh maybe four minutes per side because they're frozen you guys look how great these are looking and how much they cook down oh my <laughs> gosh we added a little bit more butter in there now we got the frittata over here so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it but the first thing i'm gonna do is just kind of move it from the sides so i got the frittata divided up here and what we're gonna do is we have these little containers we use for breakfasts uh, we are going to, since Sherry only wanted ham and cheese in hers. Um, they're pretty little. They're pretty little. So we're actually going to do two slices per container. And if it lets go, there we go. So she will get four days of breakfast out of this, which is perfect because this week you're only going into the office for four days. Mm -hmm. This works out good. Look at that. Done. Sherry's putting the rest of the mushrooms we didn't use in our little handy dandy little produce saver container. Let's get a quick update on the, oh my goodness, these smell, oh my gosh. Sherry, how come we don't do this every week? Oh my goodness. Some of you guys at home can probably imagine what this smells like. It is just garlic and butter and mushrooms and onions. Oh, burgers looking great. Putting slices of Swiss cheese on them and then back in the broiler for, well, like five seconds, honestly. <laughs> Melts so quick. Sherry's favorite, is this your favorite cheese? It's up there, yep. All right, let's put it back in the broiler. And just like that, oh my gosh, they look so good. Sherry's gonna start dishing up over here. So this is actually a lot. Mm -hmm. it, we've never made this before as far as a side dish, so we didn't know exactly how much to make. Probably made too much. Uh, I'm not complaining though. That means you just get to eat it. Woohoo! There's those, and then we're just gonna put patty in like that and you patty in like that so there are your other two lunches what do you think sherry looks good and just like that four lunches four breakfasts 
and snacks for the entire week. Done. Done. All right, friends, so there it is breakfasts, lunch, snacks for this entire week. And that's exactly how we do it is we normally take one day and just kind of knock it out. Um, we have to because the reality is, is that if we don't have food ready to go, then we default to something like DoorDash and DoorDash is never the healthiest or the cheapest option. Uh, so planning ahead really, really does help us. And typically what we do is exactly what you saw. We look in the fridge, we say, okay, what are the ingredients, the items that we have that we need to use this week or they're gonna go bad, like the ham, and then we figure out ways to incorporate that into meals. Um, also, when it comes to like lunches especially, we never make the same thing for lunch uh, every day. And the reason is that both Sherry and I get bored with food pretty quickly. Um, we just can't do it like lots of days in a row. And if we get bored, we default to unhealthy things as well. So we normally have at least two different lunch options that we will like alternate day to day. And that just helps keep us it helps keep us going, to be honest. But I wanna hear from you guys. What is your meal planning or meal prep look like? Are you the kind of people who have to have one day to knock it all out for a week? Are you the kind of people who can just like, just like spontaneously fly by the seat of your pants and make good and healthy food decisions? If you are, please teach me your ways because that is so, so not us. Friends, we love you guys. Thanks for being a part of our community. Thanks for following along on all of our adventures from travel and life to even just like cooking and meal planning. We love you and we're so thankful you're a part of our community and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.